which is the latest product of Adrian's Walls. It's their African village and uh, really happy as always with Adrian's Walls products. So I just thought I'd uh, give you a little uh, view of it. Um, the figures are all mine, they don't come with the village, they're uh, War Games Foundry's figures, I just put them there to give you an idea of scale. And what you get with this set is a stockade and gateway. Um, so this is the gateway here. You can buy all these items individually, but I bought the whole lot. Um, if you do that, if you purchase it before December 31st, um, you get a free mound of skulls, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, but other than purchasing this set, that's the only way you're going to get the Mound of Skulls. So it's a sort of an exclusive item. Um, so you get the gateway, you get a separate uh, piece of stockade that you can place within the gateway. So you can either have the um, stockade closed or open. And you get four curved pieces of stockade, two straight pieces and one smaller straight piece um, which is the same length as the gateway so the whole thing forms a nice sort of oval shaped enclosure and then inside the village you get two, two huts two standard huts which is this one here and this one here um, everything comes pre-painted as always um, to a kind of high standard and uh, the huts are slightly different. The roofs are removable, but the interiors, as always, are just plain. But it does allow you to put figures in there if you're wargaming a game like Congo, which is exactly what I'm going to be doing. And then you get a witch doctor's hut, um, which is a really kind of creepy, sort of looking mud, clay sort of dwelling. Um, which has got all these skeletal parts um, embedded in it. It looks really sinister. So I put a, a witch doctor figure outside that. You get a um, sort of fireplace type um, piece of scenery with uh, various pots and so on around it. And this here is the Mound of Skulls, which you'll only receive if you order all of this before December the 31st. Um, so I'm very glad to have got hold of that as well. So, there we go. Just thought I'd take you around uh, my latest edition. Um, as I say, mainly going to be using it for Congo, but uh, it's, got, uh, it's got more uses than that, obviously could use it for any game set in, uh, set in Africa. Well, that's, uh, that's it. Thanks very much for watching everyone. Bye for now.